Yoku's Island Express is a platforming game with a whole lot of heart and a bit of a gameplay twist. It turns a beautiful tropical paradise into a giant island-sized pinball machine. You play as Yoku, the island's foremost dung beetle who has recently landed a job in the postal service. But as important as the prompt delivery of mail is, you've got larger concerns. Well, that tends to happen when there's a god slayer about. The beautiful island of Mokumana is in peril as a mysterious god slayer has attacked an ancient deity and left him badly injured. So you need to find a way to help him and deliver the mail at the same time. Yoku is always tethered to a large ball that you can push and pull around, or use to fling yourself about various pinball arenas. Uh, so if he's a dung beetle, does that mean his ball is... No, surely not. Well, I mean, he is a dung beetle. If it's not the right colour. Yeah, but does it really matter? I mean, if it's, that's the thing that... <laughs> The arenas are also used in boss fights, which can turn into multi-ball madness. Rad, we see pinball mechanics used so rarely in video games these days, and I've never seen them used this creatively and on such a large scale. There's little lights and spinny bits everywhere that you need to hit in order to unlock a new area or release a whole bunch of fruit for you to collect. And it's very satisfying when a bounty of fruit hits the playing field. Ah, delicious fruit, nature's candy. Now, Goose, I've always loved playing pinball when I get the chance, and I know those old machines have parts you have to hit in a particular order to trigger stuff, and it's always been a little bit confusing to me. Unfortunately, I think some of that confusion carries over to Yoku. But thankfully, there's usually at least one clear objective that I can play to, and just let everything else sort of happen around me. But I will say, that doesn't always make for the most satisfying gameplay. I didn't mind that as much as how tricky I found it to hit the ball in exactly the right place. I found myself spending ages on some parts, just staring at the pathway I was trying to reach. I just want to go there! Just go! No! Ah, I just want the ball to go there! Oh, well, some victories are hard won, Goose. I do think it's cool how the flippers light up depending on where the ball is touching them, to help you time your hits. It's a really nice, precise detail, although I don't think it actually helped me at all. Yeah, me neither. I really love this game's sense of humour, though. It's super cute. Like the way Yoku uses a party blower to get people's attention. I liked the puns. You know you're in for a good game when the pterodactyl postmaster's name is Postodactyl. Ah, Rad, you do enjoy a good pun. And indeed, the puns do punctuate the pleasure of the preposterous personalities in this pinballing platformer. I like alliteration. What about assonance? Eh. The island is populated with all manner of colourful characters whose imaginative design really enriches the experience. They each feel like they have whole lives and purpose that exist beyond your interactions with them, which is important for making the world feel real. Absolutely. There's also a good variety of different areas to explore. Your journey will take you from sunny beaches to snow-capped mountains to deep underground. I don't know how they managed to make each area feel expansive, and yet it doesn't take you very much time to travel somewhere completely different. Yeah, it's a wonderfully designed world, and I think that's the crux of this whole game. It's all been carefully considered. Indeed, Goose. The map is made up of connected areas, and just like in the wonderful game, Ori and the Blind Forest, you'll be prevented from reaching new areas until you gain new abilities, such as a fish tail that lets you dive underwater. <laughs> New mechanics are fed at the right pace to keep you motivated to explore new areas for hidden treasure. And speaking of treasure, the island is full of it. There's all manner of collectibles and upgrades which progress the story or just help you on your journey. There's such a great balance of mystery and fun that it's hard to not feel delighted. I agree. It's quite a bold decision to design a game around a mechanic like pinball, but I think that gamble really pays off. I had such a nice time with this game. I'm giving it four and a half out of five rubber chickens. Yoku's Island Express is bursting with charm. I just found the pinball mechanic a little bit tedious at times, but I do respect how pure it felt. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens.